Thank you, Mish, for being here with me today to have this discussion on virtual twin business experiences for rail infrastructure. This is a topic that is dear to my heart, um, you know, coming from the industry and having worked in engineering, construction and operation of large capital projects for many years. You know, we're at a, a time where uh, travel and mobility has taken such a, an important place uh, in the lives of people. I think this is probably due to um, more people working remotely and you know the urbanization of cities in uh, developing regions uh, and also we see more and more uh, tourism you know international tourism and the perfect reason to believe that there's a, a, a transformation is we see massive investment uh, in rail infrastructure today with a project pipeline valued at six trillion dollars. Dassault System is recognized as a leader in transforming uh, industries, right Mitch? This is something you have done in other industries. Can you tell us what are the key factors and enablers uh, for uh, the transformation of, of the industry? Sure, Corinne. I mean, um, yeah, we've we've been we've been helping companies and, and industries really transform across many industries over the past 40 years. I mean, that, that's been really our vocation as a company. Uh, you know, starting with, you know, building the first digital mock-ups for aerospace, the first digital manufacturing for automotive, first digitally managed trials and certification of, of, of drugs. And um, so working with you, you know, we've, we've learned, um, and, and some of our customers, we've, we've learned that you know, where I think we can have the biggest impact is focusing on building virtual twins that represent these programs. And, and, and from that, you know, being able to drive program performance, you know, we've, we've been doing this for years in, in other sectors driving, um, you know, the performance of the asset. I mean, you know, designing, developing, fabricating, delivering to specification is, is something that is not new to us, um, for which we've, we have a, a deep, deep, deep background. Of course, leveraging these twins to create value in terms of, of decision support is often the most important thing. You know, being able to simulate what it's going to look like in operation or what it's going to look like under development or, or under construction, I should say. We have much experience from different sectors and how to leverage that kind of information to support decisions. And of course, interestingly enough, um, you know, also understanding what people think, what people are saying, what they're feeling about these projects, it's important. And, and, and moreover, being able to communicate back to them. You know, being able to overlay science on top of context like what's the wind or the dust or the noise in a town in a city because we're putting a train there is incredibly important. So these are things that we can do at scale in an industrial way and in an affordable way. And I think that's what we're, we can bring to the sector. So Mitch, for the rail infrastructure customers, it means that the 3D experience platform is not only helping them reaching, you know, uh, uh, operational excellence, but it goes beyond this, reframing the relationships and the roles in the value network, um, and also uh, the capability in any phase of the project, uh, in design, in construction, but certainly in commissioning, to test virtually what you'll have to do physically, which brings a lot of value, being able to understand the behaviors, the perceptions, you talked about the emotions, uh, the experience is, is really uh, a game changer. And the capability of using the new technologies, uh, data sciences, uh, machine learning, to be able to do much more with the information we have, gathering information from different sources and being able to dashboard it and foster decision making based on science and data is, is just amazing. But tell me, Mitch, there's two questions that our customers are always bringing back when we start those discussions with them. Uh, they seem to believe that uh, the upfront investment, when we talk about all those virtual twin uh, experience, is huge. And they're kind of asking also, what is DASA system role? What is DASA system ready to enable them and accelerate uh, the adoption of of those uh, solutions? Most importantly, when we look at, I mean, there, there, is, there is effort, there is investment, um, uh, there is risk associated with any kind of transformation like this. And so that's why we've decided to take a different approach with, with this sector. It's not a, a novel approach for us, but it's an approach that we know works. 
because we take on responsibility and we take on responsibility of, of being able to get that those capabilities up and running, get the twins architectured and built properly, uh, the digital services up and running, the the AI up and running, and and you know none of these things are static. You know they're constantly evolving. So it's it's a question of having the right knowledge, know-how, experience, and and you know background tools, which we do have. So by leveraging that, we know we can take down the risk. We know we can take down the cost of getting this capability available. And, and of course, the benefit to our, to our customers available. And of course, the time. I mean, that's the biggest impact is, is that the, the time it takes to get all this set up. By reusing assets that we have and capabilities that we have, we can do this much, much, much faster. So it just means more value. And, um, and we build all this on the cloud. We build all this as online digital services. And, and, and it's interesting because the customer is really the program. It's not, it's not like one individual company. It's, it's I mean, if you, you know, in, in transport, it's, it's really the authority, but it's, it's the program that we're serving. And it's really building the, the digital assets for the program. And we think that means that we're taking on a new role for the industry, which is really what we call the digital partner. So we've concluded that the right way to do this, which yields the best value and, and you know hits all the checks all the boxes in terms of risk, cost, and time, is, is for us to take responsibility and act as the digital partner and provide this as a digital service online for our customers. Well, Mitch, I think this is going certainly to be the biggest transformation that this industry has seen. And I really thank you for the time we had discussing about it. Thank you.